welcome to uh, the channel again today we're going to uh, learn about the car undercarriage system uh, right from the chassis the exhaust system uh, axles we go to the suspension system and then finally uh, to the propulsion system I know most of us have learned through uh, the car undercarriage system through watching movies we're going to uh, go deeper and understand these uh, parts individually Today's our case study is the Range Rover. So this is the front engine area. What we see here is the skid plate. Uh, there's a metal thing protecting the engine from damage. Also it's important, uh, it helps you identify if there are leaks in your car engine because once you take it out, uh, this is what you see. If you see in, uh, oil just uh, on your skid plate, that tells you there's a leak in the system. So once we take uh, the skid plate out of the way, what we see, this is the engine chassis area. It shows you uh, where the connections of the suspension starts from and right here this is the front of the engine so we're going to talk about the drive uh, train system so this starts from the engine because this is where the power is created for our car so uh, under our engine uh, we can see the various components well there's a power steering there which is electric and then to the side we have all these uh, axles going to the front wheels and uh, these systems uh, make sure that uh, the car drives uh, really well and then they're all positioned in a way that it's organized. So when we come down here, we see uh, this is the oil pan and right on the top right here, this is our drain plug. We remove when they're draining oil from the car. And when we come to the side right here, uh, we see that's the uh, starter. And then uh, to the right, we have uh, this is a front uh, differential. So this is part of the brand uh, train system. So right after that, we go uh, just a little bit uh, lower. We see this is our transmission. So right here we have a transmission uh, drain plug. It's just right there. I know sometimes uh, people might confuse it uh, with, the, uh, with the engine oil uh, drain plug. So it's really important. Uh, to know where they are located so that you don't uh, do uh, the wrong job uh, at the wrong time So when we come to the transmission area uh, We go uh, after the transmission for this car because it's an all-wheel drive. We have a transfer case And from the transfer case we have a propeller shaft uh, which transfers the power uh, from the transmission uh, to the front wheels so normally it's just in between uh, next to the exhaust uh, uh, either to the driver side or the passenger side. So when you come behind the transmission we have the transfer case and the major work of transfer case is just to transfer power either to the front wheels or all the way uh, to the rear wheels or the main drive of the car which is the rear differential. And then when we come just down inside here we can see this is the main propeller of our car which comes from the transmission area all the way uh, to this right here which is our rear differential so already i can see some leak in the system so uh, this normally happens when uh, one of your seals is going bad so it's always good to diagnose and just go inside there and then check and fix it so our rear uh, diff uh, has these uh, two axles, uh, one going to the left uh, wheel hub and then the other one obviously going to the right uh, wheel hub. So all this work together to transfer the power which is from the engine all the way to all the four wheels of the car. So uh, after uh, that uh, we go to the next system, this is the exhaust system. Uh, so right of the system starts from the engine, it starts from the exhaust manifold and then uh, comes out from manifold and then uh, comes to this uh, this right here which is the catalytic converter. So but when you look up there you see the oxygen sensors which are mounted on the catalytic converter and there's another one before it and then uh, to the right when you go to the other section you can see uh, the oxygen sensor one is mounted on the uh, catalytic converter and then the other one is right on top right over there and then uh, strangely enough for Range Rover they have another third set of uh, oxygen sensors which is mounted after the catalytic converter just down downstream so the catalytic converter filter all these toxics from the engine 
and then to make sure that all those toxins don't proceed uh, out of the car. So uh, once you finish uh, on that section, we come to this section here. We have uh, an exhaust muffler. That's immediately after the uh, catalytic converter. So this is the, uh, the upper exhaust muffler. We have another one downstream. We'll show you uh, later on. So after that, we have the resonator. Uh, so the resonator is responsible for filtering out uh, these noise frequencies because there are different kind of noise frequencies coming from the engine once the engine starts. And then once you proceed from there, you can go all the way to the uh, to the end of the car. You can find the exhaust uh, muffler. This is the last kind of muffler which uh, is there before the gases we come from the engine comes out. So normally uh, a good uh, muffler is supposed to filter all the remaining chemicals from the engine. All right, let's go to another system. Uh, this is the gas system. Uh, many cars have different uh, positions where the gas tank is. For the Range Rover case, the gas tank is below, uh, just uh, below the body, just next to the resonator. And there are two in number. There is the left and the right. And all of them hold the gas which goes into the engine. So to do that, all the lines that transfer uh, gas to the engine normally follows uh, the chassis. They just follow on the inner side of the chassis. And then uh, the same two is the, uh, is the brake system. The brake system two uh, follows the inner side of the chassis and then uh, submit all the stuff in there. So the next item uh, we're going to discuss is the suspension system. So uh, the suspension system is all the systems that is attached to the chassis on either side, on the front side of the car and on the rear side of the car. And the items that are tied to this uh, chassis, we have the control arms, we have the suspension struts, we have all this uh, sway balling. So all these uh, together uh, make up a suspension system. So for different cars, there are air suspension. For other cars, they have just a regular springs and struts. Uh, those are the main ones. So once we finish that, we have this uh, suspension, these uh, ball joints, which are on either side of the car. So uh, part of the uh, suspension system, or uh, which go along with the suspension, we have this uh, brake calipers, or the brake system. Uh, all these uh, use uh, uh, part of the uh, chassis. They are either uh, they go, they run along with the chassis, and then they control the car. So all right, and on the last part of this is. Uh, the suspension of the rear part of the car and what is contained here we have this a big large control arm these are the lower control arms and then also we have these small control arms which are used mostly for alignment so if you see a car having alignment problems these are the ones which are adjusted so that your car moves uh, straight so for range of a case uh, this is the rear uh, suspension uh, airbag so normally some just use regular spring, but this kind of car uses the airbag. That's why it kind of like, it can move up and down because the airbag kind of expands and then just the car raises up. So right, so all the suspensions are on either side. So all of these are uh, all are tied to the uh, rear uh, undercarriage of the car, which is the chassis and all play their own important roles has been a short uh, crash course uh, to explain to you all the components uh, below your car which is under carriage so just take your time when you have some time just see what parts are in there and then you familiarize yourself and then it will help you when you're making your repairs thank you for watching the video please like and subscribe and then see you in the next video drive safe out there